Zero SRF. In terms of being the best combination of performance, range and adequate pricing, if it's even a thing for electric bikes, the all-new Zero SRF undoubtedly makes it to the top. The newcomer keeps it simple. The sporty naked design is indeed appealing and creates muscular presence on the road. In fact, this is the most powerful and the fastest Zero motorcycle to date. It owes the extra horses and miles per hour to the new Z47510 motor that yields 110 horsepower and converts them to 124 miles per hour top speed. The SRF is good for 161 mile and the city cycle, which could be extended to 200 with the optional power tank. Two terms are on offer, standard and premium, but the only difference between them is the charging duration. The latter slices 20 minutes off the battery recuperation cycle, but adds $2,000 to the price tag. Harley-Davidson Live Wire The 2019 model year will be remembered as the start of Harley-Davidson's push to discover new classes of motorcycles attempting to broaden the sales base. Among the first models within this initiative is the Harley-Davidson Livewire Electric Street Rider, based on the concept that was introduced all the way in 2014. The new two-wheeler is powered by a 74-horsepower motor with instant 52 pound-feet of torque on tap. The resulting performance will ensure a 3.5-second 0-60 sprints and 110 miles of zero-emission riding. The Livewire is the first Harley to get a fully adjustable suspension from Showa. Moreover, Brembo brakes with ABS protection and traction control feature are standard. With a price tag of $30,000, Livewire is not remotely close to ending the era of internal combustion motorcycles, but let's hope that it will play the role of Tesla Roadster for electric bikes, paving the way for more affordable models. Lightning Strike the two-month teasing campaign for the new Lightning electric sport bike is finally over. The strike has been unveiled, though only with a couple of pictures and a brief specs sheet. The newcomer is represented by three configurations, which mostly vary in the battery size. The base model is getting a $13,000 price tag, 100 miles of range and 90 horses output, while the top-of-the-line trim costs 20 grand, doubling the range, adding 30 horsepower and getting out-of-the-box level 3 CCS charging. The rest of the specs are yet to be announced, hopefully soon. Super Soko TC Max Super Soko is a Shanghai-based manufacturer of light electric motorcycles that already sells two commuter models, a retro-style TC and a more sporty-looking Street Fighter TS. In 2019, their lineup is being expanded by the TC Max, with higher specifications parameters which will be targeting more aggressive riders. Its top speed reaches 62 miles per hour, so in theory, it could be ridden on the highway. But the limited range of 68 miles on a charge still binds it mostly to the street use. The battery is removable, allowing at-home charging, but it remains quite heavy. So make sure you park somewhere close, if not in your garage. Finally, we should point out the high-quality Brembo hydraulic brakes, coupled with the combined braking system, which let you carefully control impressive 125 pound-feet of torque at the rear wheel. Fly Free Smart Classic Inspired by the classic cafe racers of 1950s, this electric bike by the California-based startup Fly Free Smart Motorcycles seamlessly combines retro and modern elements in its design. At heart of the Smart Classic sits a 3kW electric motor, which is powered by a removable LG lithium battery. The motor has three riding modes, Echo, City and Speed, for the best performance at different speeds. Just one battery offers up to 50 miles of range, but there is also a possibility of using two of them at once. Doubling the battery not only increases the range to 100 miles, but allows the bike to achieve the max speed of 50 miles per hour. Techwise, the Smart Classic features a smart key and multi-purpose instrumental panel. In addition, the company offers a wide number of customization options for the bike, including different color schemes and accessories. Vetus EV Twin the UK-based Vetus Motorcycles started out as a passion project of one man who wanted a bike he could take on his yacht anytime. The founder, Steve Smith, developed the EV Twin as an alternative to gas motorcycles which need all the gasoline to be drained out before going on board. Considering that Smith started building the prototype for Vetus with his 1953 BSA Bantam, it is no wonder the EV Twin adopts this design. The motorcycle is powered by the 6kW motor, so it could be ridden even on a provisional license. Despite the relatively modest powertrain, 
Its enhanced power management allows for up to 70 mph max speed, while the full battery charge offers a respectable 100 mile range. Each Vetus is hand-built to order with a 3-month delivery period. So if you want one for your yacht, be sure to order in advance. Would you like to be at the avant-garde of the EV revolution? Make sure to watch this video till the end and share it with your friends to popularize the upcoming electric bikes. Consider watching other episodes about EVs on our channel, the links are in the description. Let's keep rolling! Kimco Super NAX You might have heard about Kimco as a pretty successful manufacturer of electric scooters and small displacement internal combustion engine motorcycles. However, now the company is making a bold move, entering the electric superbike market with the all-new Super NAX model. Though no technical specifications of the two-wheeler were released yet, Kimco claims that it will have the performance to match its aggressive looks. So far we know that Super NAX should be unbelievably fast, capable of sprinting from 0 to 62 and 2.9 seconds and developing the maximum speed of 155mph in 10.9 seconds. Unlike other electric motorcycles, it should also come with a sport transmission, a slipper clutch and an electric equivalent of a quick shifter to deal with power fades usual for EVs and make the IC sport bike riders feel at home. In addition, the bike will be equipped with an active acoustic motor delivering the familiar engine growl. Tarform The Brooklyn-based startup Tarform has joined the circle of the US-based electric bikes manufacturers in 2018. This company was founded by the successful designer and entrepreneur Taras Kravchuk, who wanted to combine a simple electric powertrain with a classic look. Among the innovations that the company is bringing into the manufacturing techniques of Tarform is the use of 3D printed parts, produced using laser sintering and CNC machine handlebars that look like they were cut out of a solid block. The new motorcycle is being built on a modular platform to ease future customization efforts and enable battery upgrades. The rider is assisted by a set of cameras around the bike and an AI that analyzes threats and displays them on the high-resolution dashboard. For now, only range numbers are available, which equal to 90 miles in the city and 50 on the highway, with a full recharge time of 4 hours. Italian Volt Lakama This green two-wheeler is the first electric bike built by the Milan-based company Italian Volt. The bike combines architecture and styling elements of a cafe racer, roadster and a scrambler. It offers multiple customization options, allowing buyers to choose the overall color scheme and design, add or remove body panels. The Lakama is equipped with a 15 kWh lithium-ion battery that delivers up to 124 miles of riding on a full charge and has a 40-minute fast charge option. The battery feeds a powerful 94-horsepower electric motor that delivers 153 pound-feet of torque. Though it is not quite in the superbike territory, the Italian Volt Lakama definitely steps on their toes, delivering 0 to 60 acceleration of 4.6 seconds and working out the top speed of 112 mph. It also boasts of a TFT touchscreen with GPS, a smartphone app that can be used to switch riding modes, tune brakes and torque parameters. Curtis Motorcycle Zeus and Hira Previously known as Confederate Motorcycles, which majored in production of freakishly overpowered and uniquely looking custom bikes, Curtis is entering the new era in its history. The company will be partnering with Zero Motorcycles to transition to the manufacturing of high-powered electric bikes. Their first two models announced for release in 2020 are the Power Cruiser Zeus and Bopper and Cafe modifications and the Hot Rod Hira. Interestingly, all these bikes are marketed as all-electric V8s, though it is not the indication of the number and positioning of cylinders, but rather a unique battery architecture which is located under the seat and powers a dual-motor H1 system. The resulting output of the setup is 190 horsepower and 145 pound-feet of torque. The new Curtis e-bikes are expected to possess impressive 280 miles of range and record-setting speeds. Well, it looks like the Olympic gods seem to be returning to rule the Earth once again. Arc Vector Many car manufacturers now focus on developing smarter automobiles, but the British company Arc Vehicles is the first one to debut an interconnected human-machine interface on a motorcycle. The Arc's flagship model is an all-electric bike called Vector, and it gets a unique Arc Pilot system that connects the rider and the ride using a specially developed haptic jacket and the Wi-Fi-enabled Arc Zenith helmet, 
with integrated head-up display. In addition to housing lots of software novelties, the Vector is built using high-tech materials and components. It sits on the company-developed battery monocoque with Samsung 17kWh battery, has bamboo brakes and carbon fiber swing arms fitted with all-in stampers. The Cafe Racer styling adds to Vector's appeal, but you should also know that the Super